Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And this story is about a murder, Sana Mohammed, who was killed by her husband on the 12th of November last year. Ramanaj Umafalagadu, who I'm going to call Ram for the pronunciation reasons. He was found guilty of the murder of his ex-wife. The jury heard that Ram had planned the attack of the 35-year-old ex-wife who was also eight months pregnant with a child with her new partner. He then armed himself with two crossbows, hid himself in her shed at the bottom of the garden in Applegarth Drive in Ilford, East London, where Sana lived with her new husband and five children. After being discovered by her husband at half past seven in the morning, he chased him into the house holding the two crossbows. Her husband told told his wife to run upstairs. However, her ex-husband fired the arrow at her before she reached the top of the landing. The arrow, which was measured as 18 inches long, entered her body at the hip area, traveled up through her body, and by extreme fortune, the doctors said it missed her unborn baby. Miraculously, however, she was treated by paramedics from the London Ambulance Service at the scene before being taken to hospital. An emergency caesarean section was carried out to deliver the baby who was initially born not breathing but was revived by medical staff. That on its own is a miracle. Despite efforts to save Sana's life, the injuries caused to her internal organs, including her stomach, liver and heart, led to her suffering a heart attack. A post-mortem examination established her cause of death as complications arising from internal bleeding. Her ex-husband, who, who was then arrested at the scene for suspicion of attempted murder at the time, he was taken to an East London police station and was subsequently further arrested for murder. Hand behind your back now. Hand behind your back now. Over there. Stay there. Control. Stay there for now, please. Until we establish what's going on, we've got intelligence that someone's been shot in this address. In the yeah. Right, you're under arrest, okay, for the yeah. offence of attempted murder. Yes. Right, my grounds for your arrest is obviously because you've told myself that you've come round here yeah. for your wife's um, current partner and there's an affair involved. She's got in a way where you've admitted on my body worn video that you fired and shot her, okay? No, I don't. Yeah, but she's got in the way. I understand that, but you've told me that on my body one, all right? An investigation by detectives from the Metropolitan Homicide and Major Crime Command revealed he had started making preparations for the attack several months earlier. Analysis of his online purchases showed he bought a crossbow in March of 2018 at a total cost of more than £1,000. He also ordered archery arrows, broadheads and bolts from a number of internet suppliers via eBay in May of 2018. Ram then went on to purchase another crossbow from another supplier. It was the prosecution's case that this was the way of ensuring the purchases did not draw attention to himself by buying them off separate people. A handwritten note found in a jacket belonging to him suggested he had conducted surveillance on the drive address. In October 2018, Rams then asked his daughter whether the shed in the back garden was locked. On the date of Sana's murder, Rams was discovered by her then husband, her new husband, when he went to put an empty television box box in the shed. When detectives searched the shed after he was arrested, they discovered a selection of crossbow arrows, a black rucksack containing toiletries and personal items, as well as a pair of scissors and a roll of duct tape. There was also a chart marking the dates and times and movements of the occupants of the house. Ram did not answer any questions when he was interviewed by police. During the trial, he told the jury he had been aiming the crossbow at the banister and did not mean to kill his wife. The detective said that she had been looking forward to giving birth to a child and for whatever sort of deterioration in Ram's mental health that happened here where he allowed this to eat away at him he sat in the back garden of his ex-wife's house while she was in there with a new man and a new family so it just goes to show to the extent that he could not live without her and this is the sad thing that happens sometimes but thankfully this child managed to survive and can go on to at least have a chance at living a bit of a normal life so 
So I really want to hear what people have to say on this story. So please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And please pay your respects to Sana and try and be constructive in the comments. Uh, I really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.